Hello. In this video, I will show you how to download an area of a map in Alpine Quest Off Road Explorer. First, pick the map layers you want to view. Select the map icon in the bottom left corner. By long pressing the icon, you bring up the map choice menu. We will select the U.S. Forest Service topo map. There are two other ways you can select maps. Quickly touch the map menu button, and from here you can select available maps or displayed maps. Under available maps, you'll see the same list where we'll select another topo map. The map is now being downloaded and the screen will slowly populate with this map, this new map. We'll open up the map menu again and we will select the displayed maps. Now this lets you see what is currently displayed and also change what is being displayed. There's a little folder icon at the top that when you touch it, you can select which map or maps you want displayed. We will select the uh, Bing maps, their hybrid view, which is an aerial and road hybrid. You can also add an overlay layer. So we'll go back to the maps list by pressing the um, folder icon. We'll scroll down to a contour layer and select that. Now that is also now being shown on the map. You could select to remove a layer or to change how, um, how much visibility that layer has by clicking on the three dots and we have um, layer opacity and uh, we're at a hundred percent now but we can bring it down to make it more or less visible we'll leave it at a hundred percent so you can see it better next we'll close this menu now first everything that you're seeing and that you scroll over on the map is being saved but it's much easier to select an area and save everything within it so to do that we'll go back to the map icon in the bottom left and there's the option of select and save an area now I've selected that on the screen there is a box now you need to select both the area you want to save and the level of detail being saved. On the right in the bottom there's a slider that's labeled as zoom. That is how much detail the map is being saved and you can adjust it um, back and forth for more or less detail. Under the map layer names there's a size in kilobytes or megabytes or gigabytes of how much space will be needed to store that size of a map at the current set resolution. Now I'm going to um, select a, a larger area and you can see those slices are increasing. The hybrid layer is up to 30 megabytes. So I select an even larger area. It's gone up to 120 megabytes. Now, as you adjust the zoom up and down, when you touch the zoom slider, it shows you a preview of what level of zoom you're saving. There's also the idea of a, a numeric value to suggest the level of zoom. If you look under contour layers, it says one through 10, um, slash, that, that means out of 10 possible levels of zoom. Hybrid maps is 1 through 12 out of 15 levels of possible zoom. 
Now, as I've zoomed out, the hybrid map is um, 31 megabytes of space. Now I'm going to zoom in instead of 1 through 12, I'll zoom it into 1 through 13. And the space needed for that has jumped up to 120 megabytes. So once you've adjusted the area you want saved and the level of detail you want saved, in the bottom corner there's a picture of a memory card with a little play arrow on it and you'll touch that to start the downloading and saving process. Now the screen says the process is running. There's a progress bar. The contour layer downloaded very quickly because it only needed uh, 300 kilobytes of space. But the hybrid map level, since it is uh, photographic images, which have um, a much larger space requirement, is taking a while. It has a estimated time and it has a, a progress bar showing that it's moved along and we're about 50%. Um, I don't want to have you have to sit here and watch it um, run the whole time, so I'm going to um, skip ahead in the recording to where it is almost complete. Okay, I've let the download complete. Um, at this point, it, it is a good idea that I point out that you be on a, a fast Wi-Fi network when you do your downloads. And it's also good to keep in mind the time requirement for downloading. In this case, it was only about six minutes, but if you're downloading a very large area on the map at a high detail level, it might take 20 or 30 minutes to download. Okay, so now I'll close this download um, menu and we'll go to a different map view and download another one as a further example. So we'll go to Available Maps. We will select, let's see here. Go for a topo map this time. We'll go back to the map menu. Select Save an Area. We'll do the same area at the same zoom level, which happens to be the maximum level for this map of 13. And we'll start it going. And this one um, it was a smaller file size and I'd already partially downloaded some of that area, so it's finishing much quicker. And there's 10 seconds left. And now this map area for this map has downloaded as well. So I'll close this view. Now for this, this area, I have both a, a sky view map and a topo map, and I'd be ready to go for a hike in the area. This concludes how to download maps in Alpine Quest Off-Road Explorer. Um, if you have any questions about this, post them below. If you have any other topics of Alpine Quest you'd like to see demonstrated, post that below as well. Um, thank you.